<clears throat> Hi, um, so today in class um, on the 6th of August, we talked about um, Alzheimer's and how Alzheimer's is um, one of the main causes of dementia. Alzheimer's disease um, is the most common cause, although there's others. Um, and dementia in general is a set of symptoms that involves memory changes, personality changes, and other changes in sort of the ability to take care of and control um, oneself. Um, we then talked about memory in particular and classified memory along two different sorts of things. One is um, uh, types of memory. So there are what are called declarative or explicit memories. These are things you can talk about. They can be episodic memories about events, spatial events and memories about where something is, factual memories um, about sort of like particular facts, even if you don't remember when you learned them. And then there are non-declarative or implicit memories. These are like procedural or muscle memories, how-to, as well as sensory memories. Um, in terms of duration, there's sort of long-term, intermediate-term, short-term, and like immediate or working memory. Um, the lines between those get a little bit vague, um, <clears throat> but uh, but they do. It turns out that there are different brain areas involved in different types of memories and different durations. So generally speaking, um, long-term memories are stored in the cortex, and also sensory memories. We did that example with the dog um, picture are stored in the cortex. Um, but the formation of declarative memories tends to rely on the hippocampus for minutes to months um, of storage. And similarly, learning new muscle skills involves the basal ganglia, although the long-term storage, less so. Um, we then um, we also talked a little bit about acetylcholine. Um, and acetylcholine, like other neurotransmitters that we've talked about, has a spot in the brain called the nucleus basalis, where the neurons that produce it um, live and they project their axons all over the brain. The function in the brain is a lot of different things, but mainly involves attention and memory. Um, and so we'll be talking more about uh, Alzheimer's disease and memory uh, tomorrow.